Okay, I don't even know where I'm going to begin with this video. And at some point, I'm probably going to have to poop. <laughs> so I'm going to edit that out. But, um, oh God. Okay, so where do I begin? Um, my name is Melody Joy. I go by Lexa Terrestrial, like extraterrestrial. But Lexa, because I'm a female hip hop artist. Um, if you want to check out some of my stuff, I'll link it below. But um, yeah, Melody Joy is my real name. Um, I, my initials are MJ. You'll get the cruel joke later, um, I promise. Um, but essentially something for the past year to a few months has been going on with me and it's been really horrible and it's made it hard to breathe, hard to talk, hard to function. Like I can't sense air going into my nose. Like I know it's going in you hear it coming out but um it's affected every aspect of my life and essentially what this is called is empty nose syndrome and it is very real and the thing is is that with empty nose syndrome a lot of people um will conclude that it's from turbinates being gone or missing which most often is the case with a lot of people that have had tur turbinoplasty or septoplasty or any kind of turbinate reduction surgery. Turbinates are along these lines in your nose and they're they're essentially like what heat and humidify the nose. Um, I have empty nose syndrome that is caused from something else and it's the exact same symptoms, everything, but it's being caused from many other things which I believe, which I'll talk about in this video um, because First of all, I have all my turbinates. Um, I got a CT scan. My turbinates weren't reduced. They were not reduced at all. Um, and my ENT actually looked and did an endoscopy and looked at my turbinates and said they don't, they, they're not touched. They don't look reduced. They don't look like, they look healthy and pink and wet and everything, so they look good, right? My, my turbinates are there, everything cool, right? That's a good thing, except all the other issues going on are very complex and I'm not sure if, I think I figured it out, but I'm not sure if any doctor is going to be able to do anything about it and I'm really, really hoping that they can. Um, I know regenerative medicine is, is really good, but I'm afraid it's too late and I'm hoping it's not and you know, after I started having these symptoms, I contacted my doctor and he was just essentially saying like, you know, stop researching, you're, you're being crazy and, you know, it's not helping. But the research actually helped me because it helped me get to the bottom of what could be going on so I could potentially save my life. Because this is life-threatening. Um, it's very serious and it affects people's lives and many people have ended their lives from empty nose syndrome and I, I don't want to be one of them. I really don't. Um, life was already hard enough on me as it is and I got through every single hurdle and now it's like this was thrown on me and I have all of these hurdles. Like I can't even enjoy a second of life without thinking about my nose or breathing. And I never thought about my nose that much before. Like, I didn't like it, but I wasn't thinking about it. Like, it, it functioned, I could breathe, and now it's like just ridiculous. It's like ridiculously hard. And I kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, thinking it was just anxiety or thinking it was just something else. And doctors really couldn't explain what was going on at all. And um, so I want to talk about um, some of the symptoms that I'm having. Not being able to breathe. Even when I expand my nose and wear nasal dilators, I sometimes I can sense air. Other times I can't. And it's like... Even when I do this, I still can't sense air. Um, and when I do sense it, it's dry. It's like dry, cold air. Um, 
which I hate because it dry it, it definitely it like it dries me out. I feel dry. I feel congested, even though there's nothing in my nose and my air passages look good. I do have like scar tissue on my nose and I'm like flat beds of it. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe that's affecting, maybe that's affecting me. But um, if that's the case, like, you know, can they remove it, put sheets there? So celiac sheets, I've, I've studied that the celiac sheets in mice help your nose regenerate and can prevent scar tissue from reforming. Put some PRP or stem cell injections in, in there so that it doesn't grow back. I don't know, but I think essentially um, my nose like used to run a lot more and it barely runs now. And it only really like runs sometimes in like when I cry and I cry every day. Every day I'm crying I, to, to get out of this because I'm in such a depressed, anxious state and it's ruined my voice, my sleep my breathing, my work, everything, and I'm trying, I'm working so hard, and it's just, I know it might not seem like it, but it's really hard to breathe while, and talk while making this video, um, but yeah, there, yeah, like I said, there's scar tissue on my nose, and, um, I used to wear tape on my nose before bed, because it would run so much, and now it's, it doesn't run, um, so I went into full research mode and I looked up empty nose syndrome and I was like, there's no way I could have this because I didn't have a turbinant or sinus surgery, but I took a SNOP 22 test and I spoke to Dr. Doss and he said that it sounds like I have, this is, this is what I have. And I thought, well, maybe I have a trophic rhinitis. I'm not sure. Um, there's one second. Yeah, I used to be able to like talk without really thinking about it and um, this has become a lot harder and it really sucks. But um, essentially I'm thinking there could be nerve damage on my nose, there could be blood vessel damage or something on my nose um, that's creating, ca like causing the mucosal lining to do that. And I'm thinking, okay, well nerves repair themselves and but sometimes they don't and i know dr hauser who's another expert at ens stated that and i'm like hoping like oh my god how am i going to regenerate these nerves and i'm like freaking out so i started doing electrode therapy on my nose and i can feel the nerves i can feel things moving right and i think it's helped it's helped a little bit i'm worried because it's been so long so i'm thinking like fuck like am i fucked like what's going on like is this, am, am I going to get my nose functioning again? Because like, and then I'm also worried it's blood vessel damage because I believe there's Kesselbox plexus in the nose, right? And that's called Little's area in the nose. It's like right here near the septum and it's rich with, with blood vessels and um, blood supply of the nasal mucosa. Okay, and it's, there's, you know, arteries and it's, it's very vascular, like there's a lot of um, blood vessels there. And they branch off into four different spots that connect through the nose, right? So essentially right here connects a whole bunch of different nerves and blood vessels in the nose, um, the interior ethmoidal, yeah, anterior ethmoidal nerve, a nerve that is like a sensory branch in the nasal cavity. Um, the nerve, it continues to the nasociliar nerve, um, which affects ethmoidal air cells. Now, ethmoidal cells are I guess, in the nasal mucosa. Um, and it also connects to a couple other divisions, the trig something nerve um, and peripheral nerves. But um, so essentially it does a lot of shit, right? 
And I've read all these extensive medical studies, um, things they've done on mice for nerve regeneration and mucosal regeneration, people with atrophic rhinitis, treatments for it, all the different parts of the nose, the, the blood vessels, the, the cells, the anatomy of the nose. Um, and the nose contains stem cells that do replenish and regenerate themselves. Um, and, you know, I'm not a doctor or anything, but I know that they've done crazy stem cell um, treatments on people for all sorts of things, like people with spinal cord injuries, people with all sorts of nerve damage. I'm hoping that there's something that they can do for me. Um, I know in the mucosa, um, there's epithelium and plasma. In the mucosa, there's like epithelium, I believe I'm saying that right, cells, and um, they affect the nasal mucosa. And there are different ways of healing it, and I, I believe stem cell treatments can heal that as well. There's SVF stem cell treatments, which is vascular fat, where they take vas like vascular... Um, they take fat grafts and, and dense vascular whatever to heal tissue. I'm hoping maybe that can do something. I'm going to be trying acupuncture. Um, the thing is, is I'm a healthy girl. And blood supply, you know, ruining blood supply or not, um, my oxygen levels were at 100. I've gone to the doctor so many times. I have great levels of oxygen. I have low blood pressure. I exercise, I drink water, I stimulate my body. So I can't honestly say, and I'm asking my surgeon all these questions and he's thinking like, this has never happened, blah, 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 you know, all this stuff. And I'm thinking like, what, you know, I'm a very healthy girl. I had no complications whatsoever, aside from this, all this crazy shit. Um, so I don't honestly know what could be causing this? And I thought, you know, I'm thinking, okay, is there something blocking it up there or what? Um, I'm really hoping that there's still blood vessels here. I'm hoping, you know, at this point, I don't care what I look like anymore. And it's like crazy for me to even say that, like, I'll do whatever it takes to... I'll do whatever it takes to get my health back and my life back. Like I considered doing nasal flap surgery if that's what they need to do or regrowing a nose on my forehead or whatever. Like I don't, it, it's funny because I used to care what I look like and now I don't. I just want my health and my life back and I want my abilities back. And it's fucking crazy how, see I couldn't sense, I can't sense that air going in. It's crazy. Sometimes I'll like suck and suck and it feels like I'm sucking through a straw and it's just, it's ridiculous. And it's like all you can focus on because a lot of people with this end up like losing their, their jobs and their lives and their marriages it's because they can't, this ruins them so much. And I wondered how I would get through life in the future before and now I wonder even more how this is going to affect me and I have all these amazing opportunities coming up, you know, my songs are getting placed in TV shows, I'm trying to record new songs, going on tour, um, and I'm just wondering how the hell I'm going to do it, because before, I had all these abilities, and now I don't, and I had no idea, and I took my health for granted, and, um, like I said, I don't care what I look like anymore, I was beautiful before, I was beautiful before that, I was beautiful before that. I'll be beautiful if I can survive this. Um, you know, sometimes I say, well, this is my time. Just die. People will appreciate you more anyway. But um, I'm not done quite yet. I'm not done quite yet. I have a few more things to do. And I really, really hope that there's something that they can do for me. And I believe technology and medicine has come so far. And... I'm worried my situation is so complex that nobody's going to be able to help. Um, 
but like I said, I'm seeing Dr. Doss and I mean, all the different symptoms I'm having and everything, I'm just really hoping, I'm just really hoping that there's something that they can do because this is really, really, really ruined me. I'm a complete 180. Um, I really thought my life would be okay and I'd be fine. One year ago, today, I was so happy, I was totally content, and now I am completely in hell and just like hanging on to life. I'm in a completely different spot from where I used to be. And like I said, I don't fucking care what I look like anymore. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like, it's ruined my social life. Like, I barely even go out anymore because I'm just physically, like, so fucked up because of it. And, um, waking up with a sore throat a lot, you know? Like, even if I am breathing through my nose, like, It's like, no, my sinuses are so ruined. Like, they're extremely ruined from this. And um, that's essentially what's going on. And I believe it could be caused by, like I said, blood vessels here, nerves here. Maybe blood vessels in the mucosa lining. It could even be something else. I don't know. Um... But um, it could be, it could be, you know, some turbinate damage that's just not seeable. I don't know, but I'm really hoping that there's something that somebody can do. Like I said, I'll do anything. I will do anything. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I just want to be healthy and happy and able. Um, and you never really know what can happen after years after you have something done so my advice is to just leave your body alone um that's my advice that's my honest advice because yes this is rare but it's a lot less rare than you think and many people are diagnosed with this every every year and many people end their lives because of it so know that you are beautiful and don't don't do anything to yourself. If I could go back, I wouldn't have. Um, I have no tears left to cry. Like, I really don't. I'm just so physically fucked up because of this. Um, any advice that anybody has for me, please send it if you have any medical research. I've done so much medical research that it's ridiculous, but if you have any um, any advice, any doctors, I already know all the doctors in the world because I have them listed. I have so much medical stuff listed in my notes. Um, I'm still trying. I'm still hanging on. But, yeah. All right. Lexa out.